Hello, new wave of British Heavy Metal.com here. Today it's the 6th of April 2024. And Hawkwind, the irrepressible Hawkwind, have just released their 36th, would you believe, 36th studio album, Stories from Time and Space. And this is only a year or so after their previous one from this time last year, The Future Never Waits. And it's remarkable, isn't it, that in, in, in their sixth decade of recording, Hawkwind is still as active as ever, and Dave Brock remains as that driving force behind them, and the band just keep rolling on and on, don't they? But you do wonder for how much longer, because Dave's in his uh, in his early 80s now, so who, who knows how long we've got Hawkwind for. Anyway, Stories from Time and Space comes in with 13 tracks and a running time uh, just a few seconds short of an hour. And we've got, of those 13 tracks, we've got seven songs with lyrics and six instrumentals. So what, what we got here? Well, the opener, Our Lives Can't Last Forever, is a bit of an unusual one for Hawkwind. It, it's kind of a piano-driven ballad type affair with some background synth washers going on and a bit of meandering guitar. Slightly moody vocal make it uh, uh, quite a chilled out a song overall, I would say, though it's not bad, but it's just unusual to hear a Hawkwind album start off with something like this. Then the next three songs, it's Starship, What Are We Going To Do While We're Here, and The Tracker, gives us a trio of classic Hawkwind songs with, with, with the band at the best. The Starship has a, has a sort of constant, repetitive, hypnotic bass riff throughout. We've got synth swirls and various noises going on. That tasty guitar chugging and, and uh, sort of like meandering. And a nice synth solo which interplays with the guitar as well. That's an excellent classic work with that. What are we going to do while we're here? So, sorry, uh, what, yeah, what are we going to do while we're here? Uh, this got a sort of a long trippy introduction. There's some saxophone going on. Uh, which which immediately makes you think of Nick Turner, poor late 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 Nick, blah, the late Nick Turner, but it, it adds atmosphere before it takes off into a a, a more typical Hawkwind style. We we got more of that chugging guitar that we all know and love, swirling synths. There's more moody saxophone break towards the end of it. Excellent song, and and you know more proper Hawkwind as well, as is the tracker. Uh, you know, so that we've got three, three straight three tracks there doing proper Hawkwind stuff, doing what they do best. And for me, the best of the three of them, in fact, the best song on the album is what we're going to do while we're here. Great stuff. But then, hmm, well, then, then we start going into, uh, well, filler, I, I think. This is where it starts to get padded out. Uh, a short instrumental... A short instrumental of nothing follows. Uh, th then we've got Eternal Light, which is a, a song of two halves. The, the first half's rather slow, uh, the, uh, but it does liven up considerably about halfway through. Some tasty guitar over some spacey thin synths and, uh, and drum beat and whatnot. That's pretty good. But then the, the padding really starts at this point because we, we've got two instrumentals back to back. With, with nothing to recommend them, uh, in in my opinion, what one's a, a repetitive acoustic thing, and and I suppose the second one could be called ambient. Though it's got nothing to it; it just sounds like they've made it up as they've gone along and uh, got a bit bored. Uh, do, ne neither of them do anything, and to me, it just sounds like padding. But then we we go back to some good stuff with Traveller of Time and Space. That's good. Again, proper Hawkwind. Well, that is until the lyrics finish, after about three or four minutes. And then we've got about five minutes of drawn-out meandering noises, which, which again, sound it's there for the sake of it, and nothing happens. It just goes on and on and on for five minutes. For Well, I, I can't figure out why. It adds nothing to the song other than dragging it out. Then we've got two more instrumentals, which noodle along going nowhere. Frozen in, uh, you know, frozen in time. That that's next. Uh, nice, spacey, atmospheric, sensitive vocal. It, it's quite short, but it's good. 
quite like that. And then yet another instrumental, Stargazers, closes the album out. But at least this one does have a bit of oomph to it. For me, overall, Stories from Time and Space, it's, it's well, it's a middling Hawkwind album, I, I would say. When it's good, it's good. And it, it sounds a bit like, well, it, it made me think of uh, like the old days when, when, when they were putting out stuff like Levitation, Choose Your Masks and Sonic Attack, that, that kind of era, late 70s, early 80s. When, when it's good, it's good. And the good stuff is, is when they can write a proper song with lyrics. But when it's bad, it's bad. And um, what I mean by that is all the instrumental padding that's going on. None, none of them uh, go, go anywhere near to stuff like When to Change, the Aubergine that ate Rangoon, or the Forge of Vulcan, for example, when Hawkwind did good instrumentals. And yes, whilst many, many of those comforting, familiar Hawkwind trademark sounds are present, it's all that padding and filler and the instrumentals, which, which in my opinion, makes that hour-long running time a, a, a little bit too much of a stretch. I, I would say if, if they drop the instrumentals, stuck with the stuff that, that, that they're singing on, and give it a more succinct running time of, say, 40 minutes, that would have been ideal. But there's just far too much padding on it for me. That, that's just just a waste, waste of time. So that's, that's what I think. Just my opinion, of course. Um, I'll put a link to it on Amazon in the description underneath if you if you would like to go and check it out and maybe buy a copy for yourself to you know various formats and all the rest of it. But for me it's uh, what two and a half, three out of five maybe. But that's just me. Um so that that's Hawkwind Stories from Time and Space. If you wouldn't mind doing so, please subscribe to the channel before you go, because that'd be a, a big help. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and take care.